working his way to the octagon, and he has this crowd fired up. BJ Penn is considered by many to be the greatest lightweight fighter to ever walk the planet. He's got outstanding jiu-jitsu skills and uncanny flexibility. He's also extremely dangerous on his feet with fast hands and very technical boxing skills. BJ Penn, fired up and ready to give the crowd what they came to see. Rio Chonin, set to enter the world-famous octagon once again. Rio Chonin is an aggressive fighter with a lot of heart and extremely well-rounded skills. He's got a ton of international experience. He's fought and beat some of the very best in the sport, including Carlos Newton and Anderson Silva. Rio Chonin, ready to throw down and put on a show. Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Zenergy, powered by Zions, the official energy drink of the UFC. And now with the official introductions of our fighters, Bruce Buffer. And now, five rounds for the UFC Walter Waite Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter. He stands five feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Wanaku Hilo, Hawaii. He is the former UFC welterweight and lightweight champion, the prodigy B. And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a mixed martial artist. He stands five feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Yamagata City, Japan. Rio Paranha Shonen. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Kevin Mohal. Okay, guys, you've both been given your rules. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Defend yourself at all times. If I tell you to break, break clean. Do you understand? Do you understand? Cuts close. Let's come out fighting. Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan. We are ready to get things started. BJ okay, Penn. Are you ready? Rio Chonin. And here we go. Let's when you fight. bring in the nickname The Prodigy, uh, obviously, there's high expectations, and B.J. Penn, Joe, has never disappointed. B.J. Penn is a man who is finally realizing his potential in the octagon. Always been an incredibly talented fighter, but been a little lazy. Now the B.J. Penn that we're seeing in the octagon is a trained professional athlete with a serious strength and conditioning program, and the effects of that are devastating on his opponents. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. Good sprawl. They clinch. Oh! Oh, suplex! Very nice. He's in the guard. Side control again. Oh! Okay, moves into the mount here. And really raining down some haymakers. He's got, got both, both hooks, hooks in. in. Joe, this is dangerous. Rolls back over to mount again. Able to posture up from full mount. He's got half guard. Oh, reversal. Moves to half guard. Nice right hand. And into full mount. Got the hooks in, Joe. He's got his back. Under nine, he back to full mount. Oh, he gets reversed. Penn is cut open here, Mike. Pushes him off with the feet. He decides to let him up. Push kick. Man, good exchange between both these fighters. One minute. Get him backing up and make him pay. 
Fast hands, good battle inside. Oh, but he oh, ate he a left hand. Left. Oh, beautiful hook. Nice left hook. Oh, beautiful takedown. Half guard, and that's the end of round one. Man, they really mixed it up in that round, Joe. Yeah, both these guys are very well-rounded, and they had a chance to show it in there. You hear me? You gotta take it to it. You can dump him, you can throw him. He's going up the cage, okay? Find those punches, hey, and find the knees right after. Get to the body some too, okay? Hey, finish every combination with a kick. You listen to me? Finish every combination with a kick. Keep the right kick on, control range. Finish with a takedown at the very end of the- All right, let's go to the replay, Mike. We're looking at that spectacular suplex. And this was that nice counter, just perfect movement here. And here's another great suplex. A lot of versatility being shown in that round, Mike. Hey, that's close. You don't sit there and judge it, all right? You go out there and just keep fighting hard. The beautiful Shandella Powell. We start round two. Fight. This fight scheduled for five, five-minute rounds. Oh, wow. looping hook there. Oh, nice combination. A left hook and then an uppercut. Come on, baby, one, two. Oh, good counter. Beautiful hook. What an exchange here. Good use of distance here, Joe. Big right hand. Wow, that right hand. Back nice. and forth. And oh, he answers. Oh, oh, nice hook and an uppercut afterwards. Oh, big left hook. Oh, we got tangled the hook. Oh, nice left and a right. And now he's answered. And now there's also a cut. Oh, oh, beautiful combination. He's up. Oh, big right hand. He's down. Oh. He looked hurt. We recovered quick. He's in full mount. Oh, he got reversed. Pushing his opponent away. Now looking for the takedown. He wants the double. Again, the takedown is stuffed. They clinch again. Oh! Belly to belly again. Full mount here. Oh, he got reversed. Pushes him off of the feet. Just over a minute remains. Nice right hand. BJ Penn switches to the southpaw stance. They are both staying in tight, close, right in the fire. Inside with the clinch again. Oh! He's looking to take him down, he gets mounted. Oh, oh. big shot from the He's top. And that's it. And it is all over. Winner by knockout. We have a new UFC welterweight champion. Let's see that again, Mike. As soon as the opening's there, boom, he drops the hammer and turns the lights out. Joe, you can see on the replay that he was out, the fight was over, and still he threw down some punches. Couple of more punches than are needed. Watch it again, Joe. Wow. Right on the button. And with our official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kevin Mohall has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 29 seconds of the second round. Declaring the winner by knockout, and now, the new UFC welterweight champion of the world, the prodigy B.
prodigy BJ Penn is the new UFC welterweight champion.